Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy JML Flow, bringing y'all the 4 4 run D that I use to stop the run. Out the 4 4 split, I like to use the cover 2 invert. Um, let's just talk about running the ball in that first. Let's just, let's just talk about the run, what's good against the run, what's bad against the run, how to slow down a run. Uh, why the run is so successful in Madden 17. The run is so successful is because EA is retarded. EA tried to simulate a real life running game. So everybody, when they when you, when, when you run the ball, you can just hold RT. Your linemen are blocking like they're all six, seven foot, and they bench 780 pounds. So it's hard to get off blocks. And once you hit the outside, it's really hard to get to a running back. And there's a lot of stupid broken tackles. So the way you want to slow this down, I come out in the cover four. And all I do, I don't base a line because if you base a line, it messes up the run fits. All I do is spread my linebackers, spread my D line, and then crash the middle. And then usually sometimes I like to move them out, sometimes that probably a little bit, you know. But usually I like to keep them too like closer here because and the reason I got like, why don't you just edge rush? They won't get to the outside. Cause if you edge rush and they run a dive because they see that you're spreading your linebackers and stuff, it's gonna you it's gonna open up the middle and it's just gonna leave you you're gonna be like the only person there they're just gonna be make it tough on you so you don't want to do that but right here y'all see like they run a counter they everyone wants to hit the outside so that's like you see the, the cpu even got forced back inside if you if they can't hit the outside the run game is shut down like i'm telling you like y'all watch all my gameplays like go watch all my gameplays to run and you see we got tamaha lee if he does get to, to, to the outside Tamahali is waiting for him. That's what you want. And I'm just sitting here. I'm just filling and usering. That's all. And you see how, uh, and you see, I'm going to talk about this later, but do you see how the linebackers get faked out by the counter? If your opponent is spamming counter, I'm going to tell y'all one trick you can do. Because you see how these linebackers come over here and it just leave the whole side open. I'm going to tell y'all how y'all can, uh, stop that. But y'all see, I'm just coming up and filling and all you got to do is find them and hit them. But if your opponent spamming the counter, don't do this every time. If they're spamming the counter, you're going to spread your linebacker, spread your line, crash middle, and you're going to pass commit. Y'all like, J-Man, what are you talking about? If you pass commit and they run, this is going to happen. But watch the difference when, when you pass commit. Like, it will slow the counter down so much. I'm going to show you all why. Because if you don't run commit, your linebackers will fall for the run fake. Like they will, but now when you pass commit, they're not gonna fall for that run fake. So you see how they, he just like itching back, like he's itching back and he's standing in place. So now you have a lot more guys over there instead of like three guys, instead of having both these linebackers come to the right and then it's just you over there. But now it's this outside guy. Essentially, wherever he takes his run, like if he takes to the outside, we have Tamaha Lee. He could have probably potentially cut it up the gap, but like y'all see how it just slows it down. So usually, like again, uh, when if but if you're just going against a power O to halfback stretch, I, I normally don't pass commit unless they like, all right, they're spamming counter, because the, if you and then then I usually like to bring him right here, because when you when you pass commit, uh, like this for real, just just having him over here, if they run a stretch, he's over on that side, right? Like he's already over there, so it's 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 a numbers game to make it better for you. But then you're going to see when they run a counter, you see how he's itching over it, and then he can drop down and attack. That's exactly why I like that. Uh, that's exactly why I like this run D. Uh, that, like that, because if they run a uh, power to the right, he's already over there. If they run a counter, you see how he's slowly itching over? But, like, he's like, it's like, uh, almost like he's moving with the running back. Like, the running back's over. All right, he sees this to run, and then he comes down on it, and you just win the numbers game. That's why I love the 4-4 defense. Like I said, it's not gonna completely shut it down, but it will slow it down. It's gonna it's gonna force them to start passing. And that's just what I like about it. But like, say they switch to like, okay, they switch to the power. Same thing. We bring him over there, but this time we don't pass commit. That's that's the thing. And then they run a the little power play, whatever. Now you got people right there. They can't get to the outside. The only place they can take it is up the middle, and that's why I love this run D. And I know it is blitzes out this formation. I already uploaded some on YouTube, and I'm just gonna add the links. Uh, just gonna add the links for y'all in the which we call them. Add the links for y'all in the rest of the ebook. But like I said, this setup right here, just forcing your opponent. This will stop mainly. This will slow down almost every run play in the game. And again, do not base line because it messes up the run fits. And I recommend having auto flip turned on. 
I recommend having auto flip turned on and learning how to set these blitzes up from both sides. I do recommend that, but until then, you don't have to. But like the cover three buff, you can set it up from either way. If you want to set it up from the right, base the line, pinch your D line, crash to the right. From the left, base the line, pinch your D line, crash to the left. It's usually once you learn how to set up uh, blitzes from the left and right, turn auto flip on because auto flip uh, brings your defense to the best. It's basically set your defense up to win to win the run. But again, I'm just trying to help y'all. This is how you slow down the run. Keep in touch, y'all. We almost we almost do the ebook.